What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here with Chiefs Head TV. The league year is set to open in a little under two hours, but the Packers have already struck Christian Kirksey, uh, agreeing to a two-year deal for reportedly $16 million. Of course, we need to see the structure on that to see what it's really in regards to guarantees, um, out, a possible out next season, off-season, whatever. Uh, but I tend to think this is a smart gamble by Brian Gutekunst. Everyone knows about his injury history. He hasn't played a ton of games the last two years. But uh, there's no question that they needed to start rebuilding their inside backer position. Um, I've had a lot of questions this morning about does this preclude them from signing Littleton or other guys at the inside spot? No, it doesn't. Um, again, it's all down to structure what the cap hit ends up being. Remember, that first initial number is always going to be pumped up by the agency. The numbers they get out there, they want everyone to trumpet that. But that's not necessarily what he's signed for. I'm still not used to the Packers signing free agents. I hear you, Tim. Hello to everybody in the comments. How are you? It's probably a one-year deal. Well, AJ, reportedly a two-year deal. But yes, uh, there's undoubtedly an out at some point next offseason, I would think. Now, we'll, we'll see when the actual details get published. Uh, do you think it's incentive-based? Uh, somewhat. He visited the Raiders, the Packers, and the Bills reportedly last year. Those are the only visits we know about. Um, so I would have to think they probably had to sweeten the pot a little bit up front. But, yeah, I think there's a, probably a, a good chance that some of it is incentive-based. How much of that $16 million do you think is roster bonuses on or game day availability? Mike, I don't doubt that Russ Ball would push for some of that. Uh, again, because of the fact that he was – a bit sought after, I would be surprised if there's a ton of it. But I got to think they tied at least a little bit of the first year money into game day availability. Yes, shout out to Vikings GM for extending Cousins. Yes, the news breaking right before I went live, the Vikings have extended Kirk Cousins by two years. Obviously, that's great news for Packers fans everywhere. Um, look, I get why they want stability. I get that for the Vikings, that is kind of their status quo, the Packers secondary. Hell of a player went healthy, definitely an upgrade from what we had. Eric, yeah, I think – I don't think he's a monster upgrade, but I do think he's a better player than Blake Martinez when healthy. Now, obviously, that is the key, and that is why it's a gamble, but I do think it makes a ton of sense for the Packers. And, again, I don't think it precludes them from making further moves at inside backer, whether in free agency or the draft. But I think it's a good first step to try and kind of bolster the talent level at the position. Will Kirksey be calling the plays on D? Julian, that's a really good question. I doubt it initially, although he does have experience with Mike Pettin, played for Pettin his first couple of years in the league. Um, we don't know how much he's going to be on the field, what kind of their plans are for him. But I do think there's a possibility that he could be used in that way. Uh, Devontae Freeman got released. I did see that, Klondike. I would be very surprised if the Packers uh, made a call there. They haven't historically paid running backs, and they're about to enter into negotiations with Aaron Jones. I'd just be shocked if they paid Devontae Freeman. I think there's a lot of teams out there, i.e. the San Francisco 49ers, who will be able to pay him a whole hell of a lot more. I've read where he is a great leader also. Mark, go back and watch the, um, what's it called, Hard Knocks in Cleveland a couple years ago. Uh, you'll see some of the behind-the-scenes locker room stuff. He's a, um, definitely a, a presence, a positive presence in the locker room and in the community. And I don't doubt that that played a little part in the signing. Kirksey is from Iowa. So if, if he makes the team and it, it gets on national television, hopefully we'll get a Kirksey. Iowa. Now they should get Michael Pierce from Baltimore. Uh, he's my number one uh, crush, I guess you'd say, in free agency. I love the idea of Michael Pierce playing next to Kenny Clark on base and early downs, uh, wrecking things up front, allowing Clark a free release to just kind of use that quick twitch and get upfield. I don't know if the Packers are going to go that route. I think Michael Pierce is probably going to get paid. I doubt the Packers have the money to compete, but I would love it. Uh, <laughs> cheap. Is he good? Uh, Riley, he is good when he's on the field. He needs to stay on the field. I've seen, uh, I think, uh, Tom Silverstein put out there that uh, that's the coverage linebacker that the Packers coveted. I'm not sure I agree with that assessment. I, I do think he is a good all-around player. I, I don't particularly see him as uh, much of an upgrade in coverage from Martinez, and I know that's you know not saying a whole lot, but I, I do think he's 
a, a good, solid, all-around player, but I wouldn't categorize him as a coverage linebacker. All right, guys, I'm going to have to jump. I, I, I'm going to do, hopefully, these live chats every time a significant move gets made in free agency. Um, I am, as you can see, I'm in the office. I'm in LiveX here in Manhattan. It is very weird in Manhattan. The train was very weird in today, very ghost towny. Uh, but I'm here, so I'm going to work. And uh, keep it at Cheesehead TV. I'll have a blog post up on all, everything we just talked about. And I'll be blogging throughout the day, doing videos throughout the day. Please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you later today if and when the Packers make some more moves. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Go Pack Go.